Parkland's two students now facing charges in connection with these racist Snapchat messages sent among middle schoolers. Middle schoolers. Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie is the only reporter to talk with a mom there who says her daughter just did not feel safe. Mark, you're live in Forsyth County at the school where a teacher is also now in trouble. And we understand there is an ongoing Forsyth County Sheriff's Office investigation. And while we understand the Snapchat conversation in question happened outside school, there are plenty of ramifications here for students and for a teacher in trouble with the school system. She was told to toughen up by a teacher. Whenever one of the students returned to school on Friday, we had a teacher that made a very inappropriate comment to her. I don't know how to console my daughter. That teacher is now not at the school and we are investigating that personnel issue. A mom says a teacher told her daughter to toughen up after the multiracial Vickery Creek Middle School student was targeted by a racist Snapchat conversation involving close to 40 kids, many of them fellow students at the Forsyth County School. So thinking the teacher didn't know the full story, the teen told her. I'm very uncomfortable here because they told me they were going to hang me. They said they were going to whip me um, like a slave to death and they told me to kill myself. The teacher again responded with, you know these boys aren't going to hang you. You really should toughen up. A school system spokesperson. There were a number of students involved. 11 of them are facing disciplinary actions. Lawyer Thomas Reynolds told us he represents that mom's family and a second with a biracial 13-year-old son also targeted. I hope and pray that out of all of this, some good will come. And that he counted at least 60 uses of the N-word alone. Something that every person should be appalled at. We did charge two juveniles with terroristic threats. Corporal Doug Greenwater says the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office jumped on the case quickly after a family reported it days ago and the two juveniles charged so far threatened bodily harm on Snapchat, one using the word shooting. Once you use that word, we're going to come to your house and make sure that you have no means of actually doing something like that. One mom says she can document she reported racism at the school previously several times. We feel that we have responded appropriately. However, if someone feels that we have not, we are always willing to listen. We're interested to see what they did previously that might have been able to prevent this. Now that school spokesperson said something frankly extraordinary, that as a community we acknowledge and we apologize for the wrongs that occurred in the past in Forsyth County. She cited a notorious 1912 lynching and two famous civil rights marches in 1987. She says the system has a long-term diversity, equity, and inclusion plan because it's such a priority. And Mark, you actually covered that march. Some would even call it the infamous march back in 1987 because of the reaction that it got. So hopefully in 30 years, something's changed up there. Yeah, you know, I covered that the second march, the big one, thousands of people. My assignment was to identify uh, well-known white supremacists that came for sort of a counter protest. Now, that school spokesperson says since that time, the residents have grown from 40,000 to 240,000. And I think a lot of people here now didn't even know about the past. All right, Mark Winnie reporting in Forsyth County. Thank you.